Hello, and welcome to part two of my sample series, specifically my 4K samples uh, of Okami HD for the Xbox One X. This is part two. If you have not watched part one, you might want to go back to that and watch that one first. So that shows the intro, uh, the opening cutscene, as it were, to this game. And this is uh, basically going to be part two to that, so let's get on, and on with it. This is my 4K sample series where I play and showcase games and for either the PlayStation 4 Pro or the Xbox One X running at either 4K or HDR. And I'm showcasing Okami HD for the Xbox One here. Got an astral pouch. Ah oh, yeah, the revival thing. I remember this. And I'm just picking up where I left off from part one of this video. I do this because I have to limit these videos to under half an hour, otherwise they will not fully resolve to 4K. Something I first discovered when I uploaded footage of, uh, tried to upload footage of Spider-Man for the PS4 Pro last year, or... Actually, yeah, last year. Alright. We got an orange. And let's walk through this shiny gate of light. Like I've said in the first video, this is a really nice looking game. Let me just look at it. Even when I played this in 1080p before I had my 4K screen, this looked really nice. And I bet it looked I bet it also looked nice when it originally came out in the PS2. Got the Maggie. But this just looks really nice. Now, I am recording this in 4K, 2160p, at 30 frames a second, as that is the frame rate that this game runs at. Look at that. thing doesn't realize that that wolf is the same wolf he's standing on top of. I remember it took me forever to figure out what to do here, but now I know. Look at that. Looks like a mouse. A mouse with a blade in its mouth. Okay. So that's two of the 13 divine entities and their powers absorbed. Not bad for only about half hours worth of work. Tamagotchi, no, Tamaga, Tachigame. Uh, I 
think that is that same person. I think that is that same wolf. up your mind about that, huh? Great. this helpful arrow we have pointing us in the direction of where we need to go. Alright. I'm running here. Oh, what? What are these guys? little bit of combat here. Ink bottle. Alright. Starting to remember how this game plays a little bit. Remember, I, I beat this game about two years ago now. It's funny, the, the games I... The two games I've taken me the longest to play through in recent years are both games that take place in feudal Japan. This game and my current game, um, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. tapping the B button to make the wolf bark. I don't think wolves actually bark in real life. I think they howl. I think only dogs bark, but I'm not sure. I can't seem to bark while I'm swimming, though. That does not make me a happy camper. I'm only truly happy when I'm making the wolf bark. Like that. Mm -hmm. Thinking back to my stream of this game a couple years ago, I must have spent a lot of time just making this wolf here bark for no good reason. And because I wasn't talking on a microphone back then, there was no explanation for it either. <laughs> That's funny. Good times. It's like, oh, why is this guy randomly making the wolf bark like that? Well, it's obvious, because it's fun. There we go. Now look at that. Yes, it has. That's creepy. 
Yeah, I know what you mean. Getting into actual gameplay stuff here. I don't think that's a statue. It's been a while, like I said, a couple years since I played this, and even longer since I played this early section. one of them fancy save points. How about if we go use that? Looks like another statue. What's this thing? Don't have time for reading signs? That's interesting. Nothing there. If it looks a little bit like I don't know what I'm doing, well, hey, guess what? You're right. I kind of don't. Like I said, it's been a while since I played through this game. Right? Well, there was a fork in the road when we first got here, so why don't we go the other direction? Maybe we'll find something there. What's this thing? I hear ya. And that just takes us back to where we were. Okay. My plan is either today or maybe next week to pull some footage of this game, of later parts of this game, where I have much more of the world open and available for me to explore. I might just do two videos this week and then two videos next week. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. This seems like a game that's important enough, to me anyway, to devote more time and more videos to showcasing it with. Like my use of English? <laughs> They're looking for someone who's not made of stone. Find some high ground so we can take a look. I'm pretty sure I'm just going back to the area I already was.
Oh, I think I know what I have to do. I'm not sure, though. Yep. After I totally do. Because I am the sun god. That guy says HD when that popped up. Yep. Celestri the Celestial Brush. Okay. Celestial Brush it is. Oh, look at this guy. Village Elder, Mr. Orange. I wonder why he's called that. <laughs> you don't look quite as smart. <laughs> What's up with these guys? I do remember how to use the brush thing in combat, at least. Two hundred and twenty yen. What is that like? Two dollars? <laughs> Praise you get, it's the source of your power. Yeah. Feeding animals is a significant uh, part of this game. If they give you hints and such. At the very least, it gives you praise. Alright. I think this restores uh, health. Let's go back down to the village. Oh, look at these. We can feed the birds, I guess.
I remember when I first started doing this uh, a couple years ago when I played through this game, I would wait through the entire animation of this. It goes for like about a minute or so. No doubt one of the reasons why my playthrough took so long. I was kind of mesmerized by stuff like this back then. And by back then, I mean two years ago. It is very pleasant. I mean, just look at this game. In 4K, no less. See? The birds are happy. Maybe I was wrong about the whole hint thing, but... Alright. Looks like he's seen better days. Let me try something. Guess I don't have that ability yet. Okay. That's okay, I'm not going to do that now. We'll quickly hit the save point, though. Actually, you know what? I'll save that for the end of this video. I'm about 20 minutes in. Name of the two-bit middle-aged warrior, Susano. Claiming to be the descendant of Maggie. Go in there, see what's up. No, he's not in here. Where is he? Where is he? Now oh, there we go. That's what happens when you run out of ink. You lose your colors. Come on. 
Ja. All right. So I guess he's not waking up then. That's all right. What's this guy doing? I remember these, these guys being a little bit difficult. There we go. A little tricky anyway. Ah, that's quite a bit more yen than what I've gotten previously. Look at that. More color and more praise. I'll take it. All right. We can increase our health or our ink. Let's increase our health. I'm always a fan of getting more health in games like this. Well, folks, I think I'm actually going to be calling it a day here in a few, in a couple minutes, as soon as I can get out of this conversation, anyway. I'll head back to the save point, and I shall call it a video. Thank you so much for watching. Just as a quick reminder, I do a daily long play stream just about every day at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do um, a retro stream on Monday night, 8 p.m., a modern stream on Wednesday night, 11 p.m., and occasional 4K on in or HDR uploads, typically on Friday, although not always. So yeah, this is part two of my uh, look at Okami HD on the Xbox One. Next week, I'm going to post one or two videos showcasing much more of this world on my completed or nearly completed save file. Um, and that should be next week on Friday or possibly Saturday. But yeah, this is Okami HD on the Xbox One. It's awesome if you have an Xbox One X and a uh, 4K TV. I would strongly recommend getting this game. You could probably get this game for $20 or less. I think I got it new for $20, actually. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take it easy.